Hello friends, this video on P-Block Elements Part 31 is brought to you by examfee.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's understand some other important compounds of oxygen family. That is my simple oxides. So what are oxides? See, binary compounds of oxygen with elements are called oxides. Okay, you can dioxide, you have trioxide also, but any example MgO. Is one example of oxide of oxygen with any other element. So one element actually may form more than one type of oxide. If we talk about let's suppose iron. So iron forms FeO. Iron also forms Fe2O3. There are two different types of oxide formed by iron. If we talk about carbon, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide. Correct. So oxide is nothing but my oxygen and some other element you can have different type of oxide okay in fact most of the elements form X oxide exception is platinum gold and some noble gas so most of the elements form oxide whether metal non metal they form oxide and oxygen is thus very abundant in nature right and we have different kind of oxide we have simple oxide we have mixed oxide so we can uh, diff Oxide again classify into two types. One the simple oxides, other is the mixed oxide. Simple oxide they contain only one chemical element and oxygen. One chemical element plus Example, you can have MgO, Al2O3, water. So, if you see the element is higher, aluminium here, hydrogen here, right? Magnesium here. So, these are MnO2. So, here we have oxygen and one more element. They are simple crystal structure. If we talk about the mixed oxides, they have more than one, one plus chemical element. And they have oxygen also. For example, Fe TiO3. So it has Fe and it has titanium. Similarly, Sr TiO3. Right? Or Y3Al5O2. They are little, uh, not that, when they are little rare actually. Yeah. So it has Sr, this is Ti, this has Y, this is Al. So these kind of oxides are called mixed oxide we can also classify these oxides based on their acidic nature this was based on the chemical element this we can also classify them as the acidic oxide or basic oxide or it can be amphoteric oxide or it can be neutral oxide correct so we talk about the acidic oxide these oxides react with water to form acidic oxide for example of acidic oxide again can say as so2 when react with water to form h2so3 is almost acid sulfurous acid another example of acidic oxide can be cl2o7 carbon dioxide all these are my acidic oxide because these react with water to form acids typically my non-metal oxides are typically not not uh, always but typically my non-metal oxides are acidic oxide some metal with the higher oxidation state they also have the acidic characteristic but typically my non-metal for example uh, sulfur hydrogen chlorine these are sulfur chlorine carbon typically my non-metals they form acidic oxide but as I told, some metals with higher oxidation state, for example, Mn2O7, CrO7, V2O5, so these guys also form or nothing but acidic oxide, metals with higher oxidation state. We talk about the basic oxide. The basic oxide is the oxide which gives base with water. So this is acidic oxide gives acid. Gives acid with water basic oxide 
this gives base width what? And these are, will be typically metal oxide, for example, Na2O or calcium oxide. So these will give you base, for example, calcium oxide react with water will give you what? Calcium hydroxide. This is base. So metallic oxides are metallic oxides, not all because some of the metallic oxides are myacidic. So most of the metallic oxides are my basic oxide. Okay. The third is amphoteric oxide. See some metallic oxides will exhibit the dual nature. So let me write here. Yeah. They will have a dual behavior. They will show both acidic and basic behavior. So they will react with both acid and alkali. A good example is Al2O3. If you take Al2O3, you react with let's say acid, HCl and some water also. What you get is Al H2O6. 3 plus and some chlorine ions. The same way Al2O3, when you react with some base, a good base can be sodium hydroxide, very popular base, some water here also. You get Na3AlOH6. You see, this oxide reacts with both acid and base. These are my amphoteric oxide. The next is the neutral oxide. Neutral oxide, they are neither acid nor base. They are neutral, for example, carbon monoxide. And monoxide and 2O. These are my neutral oxides. Okay, so oxide we can classify as simple and mixed, or we can also classify oxide as acidic, basic, amphoteric, and neutral oxides. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attend free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.